I've just got to start a seven day tour around Mongolia. We are so excited and it's beautiful weather and we're all packed, ready to go. about an hour and a half out of Ulaanbaatar and we have come to our first attraction which is the Genghis Khan statue complex where you can climb to the top and come face to face to the leader himself. <laughs> So we made it. We're yeah. in Turilj Park and we've just arrived at our accommodation, which is a traditional gear. We're so excited. It's very spacious inside and it's um it's got a little fireplace too. We'll very show cozy. you we'll show you on the inside. Give you a tour. <laughs> this is the entrance way to our own private little yurt, and it's just across from Turtle Rock. So this is our girl. We've actually got the whole thing to ourselves. We were on our own little private tour, can you believe it? Uh, so this is where we'll be sleeping for tonight. Let me give you a tour of our accommodation. Dining room table, beds, lights, electricity, skylights, stove, when we were at the hostel before going on this tour, we bumped into another group of people who had just finished a tour and they warned us that it gets cold at night. So our tour guide has given us sleeping bags and on these beds is just a, a thin blanket and then this doona. Apparently, if you get cold, there are other blankets available, but we're in a, in a go with five beds, so there's five blankets. So I don't think that we're going to be going cold tonight. Plus we have a own little wood fire heater. We're just sitting here. I'm having one of those moments where I just can't believe that we're in Mongolia and we're in a, a yurt. Like it just, it's, I'm having one of those surreal moments. It's unbelievable. After researching all of this on the internet and just anticipating this trip, I can't believe that we're finally here. So when you look up Mongolian tours, normally you see pictures of these green Russian vans that, you know, they're jacked up because the tire's broken or people talk about how there's no air conditioning, the windows don't open. Our tour has this. It's a new van, it has air conditioning, it has padded seats, it's spacious. It's gonna be a good week. We've just had lunch and now we are heading up yeah, and the driver gave us a stick. So the driver gave me this stick and it's apparently for dogs in case there's wild dogs out. So we'll see how we go. As long as you don't hurt the dogs. We were going to hike up the mountain behind us, but we got a closer and it looked a little too rocky. So we've decided that we're going to climb just in front of Turtle Rock and uh, it looks a bit more grassy and I think actually when we get to the top there might be a better view of the valley. Yeah. 
to a lot of people cows might not be interesting but I don't normally get to go to them this close and they're just too cute. Hey little guy. Hey. Welcome to the Gur. It's a pretty amazing national park. Definitely have one of the best spots because Turtle Rock is right there and that's pretty much why people come to this park is for the Turtle Rock and this valley. So we're pretty stoked about where we are tonight. I'm just about to stoke up the fire in the Gur. Mm -hmm. Create a bit of warmth. The temperature has dropped really quickly. I was in shorts and t-shirts a couple of hours ago and now I'm already layering up so there's a bit of wind chill yeah uh, and the sun is just starting to set so the shadows are growing longer uh, and but there's still plenty of people out and about mm -hmm. playing games and ball sports and things yeah there's a lot of kids there's actually a lot of people <coughs> here that are on holiday even mm. um, people from like Ulaanbaatar and uh, it's really interesting because there's a lot of cows roaming around everywhere but they belong to people and so they let them roam around during the day and then at night time the cows just come back and to be milked and to feed their young. Mm. So from what we can gather that people actually live inside the National Park, uh, a mixture of traditional gur houses, um, little wooden cabins yeah. and uh, yeah there's plenty of cattle roaming around. Yeah so the people that are own these two gurs that we're using tonight are just over the fence with their cows and their calves and they're kind of tending to the animals mm. and they just have these here for people like us to come to the park and be able to stay it's really good so i definitely recommend coming here if you mm. go to mongolia uh, and no doubt you'll end up in ulaanbaatar yeah and it's a short drive mm. definitely worth seeing yeah it's really easy to get here from ulaanbaatar mm. so there's a monastery that we went and saw um earlier which has a great view of the valley. So yeah, the views here are spectacular and they change depending on where you are in the valley yeah. uh, and what time of day. Yeah, so I think for the rest of the night we're going to be in the Gur. Tim's going to light the fire, which mm. is summer. So <laughs> summer it's... in Mongolia. And here I am with a beanie. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to start a fire. <clears throat> We need to use more adjectives. Good, nice, lovely, great. 